Good morning, everybody. What a whirlwind 24 hours, eh? We had no idea that this was going to happen. It mm. just, they crossed our path and we could help. So that's what we did. And yeah. we could, as we mentioned in the first video, we could because of you guys, because yeah. of all the support. And it's not just now, it's people, everyone that supported us right from the beginning of our journey with the legends. So it's just been um, but it's just been so heartwarming and then to have the support and all those wonderful donations those beautiful comments uh, since the video has just been really really fantastic i think we needed it because you when you when you anyone will know that when you experience sort of the horror or something like that if they've been there and they've seen it it really does emotionally affect you and for that to come home and make the video which was really really hard to do and then obviously put it out and the comments just the heartfelt comments and then going on and people donating and oh it's just been amazing it really does give you back some faith because you do feel when you go into somewhere like that and you see this it it, it just puts you in a place where you just think wow like what is this world but as we're showing you know there's magic in the world and there are wonderful people in the world and that's people like you and people like you make the world change and you're making a difference you made a difference to these two dear old ladies and yeah and then and then and the nicest thing is that you're going to see day by day both of them coming alive feeling better and just blossoming in what is going to be a really magical time of the year i know you're used to the magical moons and as, as everyone enjoys the magic and the beauty and all the fun that we have this is the other side to what we do this is what makes or defines us and it's what we're very very passionate about and with your help and the increasing numbers we are going to get it over the line we will make a change forever there will be things put in place there's going to be laws put in place and there will be big, big steps towards uh, the welfare of all these equine athletes that contribute to people's lives and should never, ever end up in this state. So right we're there. getting closer, exactly. Every day, every text, every watch, every donation, every view, every conversation you have with someone, just spreading the word, spreading that bit of magic is all going to make it really, really achievable. So thank you again. Now it's uh, onwards and upwards with getting these guys feeling as good as we can. So the vet came, yeah, the vet came yesterday, um, first yeah. thing yesterday morning, because it was quite late when we got home um, with them the day before, wasn't it? And yeah. we obviously wanted to just let them be and let them rest because it was all a bit, oh. So the vet came first thing in the morning, has checked them over. They've had blood tests done, so all their blood will be checked. They've been checked for Cushing's, which is something that horses get, but in L when they're senior horses, um, it's quite a quite a big deal and they if they end up with cushions you need to treat it it's exactly what max has got isn't it max yeah. has it so we treat max with a tablet a day so these guys might have it but they might not but as you said it's to put them on a you know so we've got a data really so we know yeah the the most important thing taking the bloods or or, or with any animal um it's in this environment as especially age related if you get the bloods taken at the very beginning, you've always got that datum, you've got that baseline. So if in the future something changes or they're not well, um, or, or you notice a difference, you can go to the vets, they've got the record, they can compare the blood with what was and what is now, and then that will give them a pretty good indication that um, something's not right. So it's a really, really useful tool. Mummy Moon's got the health sheets, which she does. She goes around and health checks them, and we do our weekly checks. So we've got a pretty good um, finger on if it's it, how they are and day-to-day -day care. So it's just all part of the, you know, it's the, the care, yeah, the, yeah, the maintenance, maintenance isn't and it? Keeping it, keeping it. The, the saddest thing, I think, with me, and I find, you know, try really hard not to get angry, but you can tell I, I get pretty emotional about this, is that these horses got the all clear yesterday. Their, their health, they're in good health. They're, you know, they've got good hearts. They've got cataracts, both of them. They've got good hearts, good lungs. They're in good health. So that is pure neglect. That's why that horse looks like that. And that is, it's, it's unforgivable and needs, it needs dealing with it. It's just unforgivable. It makes my blood boil. And yeah, you know, that's why I'm not talking much on the videos at the moment, because I can feel myself just go. Anyone that meets me in person, <laughs> yeah, but as as we said, the, po stop. the real positive is that we've got a, uh, we've got a point, and we've got a, we haven't got a point to prove. We've got a point to make, um, and we are making it with you guys spreading it and spreading that magic, spreading the word, and just by having the interest. And the more that grows, 
gives us the weight that we need to affect the change and that's where it is a positive. Yes, it's horrible those moments that you have to go through but we all go through them. The most important thing is from this moment on, there or when we pick them up, that moment we got there, their lives changed and will be for the better and they are going to be safe and secure. So it's been a good end and it's a positive thing to look forward to. And they represent something so much bigger. They're like yeah. silent voices. This horse may have suffered, but she hasn't suffered in vain because we will, you know, it, there will be change. Yeah, with there this, it, it completely demonstrates what's needed and it's all evidence and it's stuff with you guys on board that we can share with the world and it will affect change. So it's really, really good. It is positive. We're going to go back to a bit of moon magic. So let's get on with it. Absolutely. Bye.
as they say, age is but a number, and we were made acutely aware of that today. These two guys went out and they were proper on their toes. Rupert had to hand little one over to me because she was getting a bit out of control, but it was lovely to see. They were just enjoying the sights, the sounds, and the smells of what is the Moon household, and a little pig of grass, a walk up to the local village, and they loved it. It's just brilliant to do a little bit with them, not too much, just taking them for a walk, stretching their legs, and just starting to get the old gray matter turning, which is one of the biggest things that we see is a problem when they've been used to a bit of an intensive lifestyle, they've been competition horses, they've been used to being around lots of people and being very active. It is hard when they are just turned out to pasture. So a big part of what we do is just getting that going, getting them to start to feel alive. And every single day, every minute of every day, but every single day, you're gonna see that improve. And hopefully you'll be able to appreciate it from your side wherever you are and we thank you all for your kindness it has just been overwhelming and long may it continue we will see you very soon